When we feel attractive, we look and feel more confident. It's an amazing little adjustment and I'm going to share with you 10 things that you can do today to instantly make you look and feel more attractive. The fact is that as we get older, it can feel a little more difficult to make an effort. But I'm talking about making an effort for ourselves. When we feel more attractive, we tend to go about our day brighter, lighter and more confident. So my first tip to helping you feel more attractive is your hair. Getting a really good haircut or a colour is key to making you feel more confident and making you look more attractive. Now I'm not saying that you have to have a total restyle or revamp, but what I'm suggesting is that we get stuck in a rut. I had my hair cut recently and it's only just starting to grow to a point where I don't dislike it. It was a disaster. I had it cut far too short and I really didn't like it and I felt unattractive. A really good haircut is a huge thing. If we get a really bad haircut, then we go about our day feeling just disheveled, we don't feel our best, and we feel less confident. So what I want to suggest is that you go and find somebody to talk to about having a restyle. Perhaps speak to a specialist. There are websites that are out there that you can put your face and various hairstyles will be superimposed on your head pretty good, perhaps not as good as speaking to a hairdresser, and most of them are going to give you that information free of charge. Go in, they're the expert. Have a chat about maybe having a trim, a restyle, maybe a refresh in your colour. A colour is something that you can play with, whatever you fancy. My second tip in helping you feel more attractive and look more attractive and confident is to address your skin. If you are stuck in a rut or perhaps you are not sure what you need when it comes to your skincare, I highly suggest you watch some of my videos. I talk about age spots, crepey skin, collagen loss. I am so obsessed with healthy aging that it's become an absolute passion of mine. In fact, I was an aesthetician for over 30 years, so I know a thing or two when it comes to aging skin, but I'm not suggesting you need to go rushing to get Botox or dermal fillers. I'm talking about healthy aging, doing the things that you can do at home, such as protecting your skin against the sun. The sun is incredibly damaging, it is drying, it will knock out your collagen and it's going to affect lines and wrinkles. It's going to create lines and wrinkles whether you like it or not. What I suggest you do is invest in a really good sunscreen. I absolutely love La Roche-Posay. It is an incredible brand and their sun cream for the face is super light and it doesn't affect your makeup. Having a really good skincare routine is key. It doesn't have to be complicated, however. Definitely think about a retinol, maybe speak to your dermatologist and get a prescription one, which would be tretinoin. I love tretinoin. It takes a little while to build it up, but there are so many products out there. I'm going to list my favorite. They're French pharmacy products that are sensational. Using a sunscreen, retinol, and a really good hydrating moisturizer will go a long way into making you look more attractive. So when our skin is looking glowing and hydrated, the next step is addressing your makeup. So many of us are using the same products that we used 20 years ago. Powdery, cakey makeup makes us look older. Now, I'm not saying that older is less attractive, but if the goal is to make yourself feel more attractive and feel more confident, you need to upgrade your makeup. I love liquid blush, cream blush. I love all of those hydrating, moisturizing products that have been designed for older skins. Now, when I'm in the studio, I have to wear a matte makeup. Otherwise, you would see me from space. I would be glowing. But when I go about my day, I love a little bit of glow. Now I'm not saying too much, too much glisten, too much shimmer can accentuate our wrinkles, but a little bit of glow definitely looks more attractive than cakey powdery makeup. When our makeup is cakey and powdery, it sits on top of our skin, sinks into the wrinkles, and it's almost like a big red arrow saying, look, look at the wrinkles, look at my pores. You don't want that and it's such an easy fix. Go to a counter, speak to one of those experts and say you want to refresh your makeup. You don't have to spend a pretty penny. It is such a simple tip and everybody should wear blush 
especially if you're over 50, because our pallor, our skin, changes colour. It looks a little duller, it can even look a little grey. As we get older, we have pigmentation, and I'm going to share with you my next tip how to address that. But go and see a makeup specialist, that's what they're for, and upgrade and up-level your makeup to feel more attractive. My next tip is getting rid of age spots. Now, it can feel like almost overnight, we've got these age spots on our hands, on our face, we've got pigmentation on our neck and decolletage. And I'm going to share with you what I have done to improve that. First of all, the out of clinic treatments. Now, you'll watch lots of influencers telling you that this product is the next best thing or this product is the holy grail. In truth, not many products really work to reduce and lift pigmentation outside of a dermatology clinic. However, there are a couple of little fabulous products that I mention all the time. One is a product called Faded. It specifically has been created to lift the appearance of dark age spots on the hands, on the face, on the body, wherever. It contains incredible active ingredients and you can use this every single evening and it works. It is brilliant. The other absolute miracle is Alpha Arbutin. This is a serum that you will use alongside your faded. It's an out of clinic treatment. You can buy it over Amazon. I will link it for you below. And it is superb. I highly recommend you try them both. And they're fabulous for your face, neck, your backs of your hands, wherever you've got those pesky dark spots appearing. The other thing that you can do that I did very recently and the keen eyed amongst you will notice, I removed a few raised pesky moles from my body. I had two here and you can see in this clip where they were, they looked really ugly. I didn't feel attractive. Now let me tell you, when you expose yourself on social media, especially on YouTube, there's always going to be the odd troll or somebody with their heightened opinion that's going to tell you that your neck needs sorting out and that those moles are ugly. I had it all. But in truth, I already knew that I wanted to take care of them. But I was a bit nervous. I didn't want to have any minor surgery. Gosh, I wish I had gone into the clinic, the dermatologist, sooner because it was so easy. She literally looked at those two. I had one on my shoulder, one on my back, and they were gone in less than 10 minutes. Now, she did two things. She froze using like a little freezing cryo pen. And on these ones, she scraped them off. Sounds a little bit scary. I didn't feel a thing. And let me tell you, my confidence my attractiveness scale has gone through the roof. It's such a silly little thing, but yet it has made me feel so much more attractive. And at the end of the day, it's what I think that matters. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Address those age spots and you will feel so much more confident and attractive. Another top tip to make you feel more attractive and more confident is to use a self tanner. Please don't run for the hills. A good self tanner that isn't sticky, that doesn't smell, that doesn't go patchy can go a long way to making you feel more attractive, more glowy, more youthful and more confident. It's incredible how much a tan elevates our spirits. Now, if you are blessed with gorgeously tan skin, I am so jealous. I was blessed with Norwegian, Scandinavian, pale, white, blonde, and I never tan. I really tried, but I never really made it. In fact, all of that trying only created age spots as I got older. So I now use this, Saint-Tropez. Saint-Tropez is my favorite by far self-tanner, and I'm very impatient, so I love an express tan. This one by far is the best. Within an hour, you can have a lovely glow, and it's perfect for the face and the body. Now, I apply a self-tanner throughout the year, not just the summer, I go a little darker in the summer, but in the winter, I love to have a little glow on my face, neck, and my hands, just the areas that people can see. Let me tell you, it really does make me feel more attractive. I feel like I don't have to wear as much makeup when I have a little sexy glow. If you're nervous about self-tanning, go and watch my self-tan video. I go through so many and let you know my absolute favorites and I talk you through how to apply it so you have a flawless, effortless glow with no orange umpa lumpa disasters. My next super easy, very simple, you can do it today tip 
to make you look more attractive is good dental hygiene. It astonishes me when you see beautiful, young, old women, it doesn't matter what age, they can look absolutely stunning, immaculate, fabulous outfit, beautiful, flawless makeup, incredible hair, and they smile and their teeth are broken, crooked, damaged, black, tar stained. It's just not attractive and it's such a simple fix. Just a toothbrush, a stain removing toothpaste, a floss, interdentals, and let me tell you, it will be a complete night and day scenario. Dental hygiene is crucial, not only for the state of your teeth and your gums and the health, but also bad breath. Uh, is there anything more unattractive than sitting near somebody or talking to somebody and they have halitosis and all you want to do is turn your face or pull back? Certainly for me, getting my teeth straightened as I got older was life-changing. It was the reason I started this channel. I was always hiding myself. And then I had this boost of confidence. I felt so much more attractive, sexy even. And I wanted to share that with women over 50. Getting your teeth looked after by a professional, getting them straightened if you can afford it, but certainly getting them clean and getting rid of stains and taking care of your gum health is crucial to making you feel more attractive and more confident. Talking of odour, my next thing comes under the field of fragrance. If I said to you, when you walk past a woman or a man and they've got an incredible fragrance on, what do you do? You tend to always look back, right? You do. It's like, whoa, what's that? It's almost an instant attraction. You know that when somebody smells good, they probably look good too. It's about taking care of ourselves, having a really good fragrance. It doesn't have to be expensive, girls. There are some incredible look-alike or smelly-like fragrances out there. I talk about one all the time. I'll link it. It is actually a very, very similar to Baccarat Rouge. It is a fraction of the price, however, but every time I wear it, people stop me. Strangers have stopped me in the supermarket and said, can I ask what fragrance you've got on? It's gorgeous. How do you think that makes me feel? It makes me feel more attractive. It makes me feel more confident. Body odor is a no-no, girls. We don't need to smell like BO. We don't need to smell like yesterday's dinner. We want to smell good. Taking care of our hygiene, having a shower, getting some decent fragrance that you love and that emanates and you feel confident in. And you know what? Don't save it for a good day out or a date night or a special occasion. Use your fragrance. I don't care if it's Chanel. If you've got Chanel, use it, spray it. It will go off and that's another thing. People keep their fragrances for best, but they will go off. Use them. Get some of these fabulous ones that I've found for you. I'll link them below. You will not be disappointed. My next tip is to start thinking about eating well. Gift yourself the gift and joy of eating real food. Try and cut out some of that rubbish that we all eat, myself included. Some of the white carbs, the sugary sodas, the toxins, the chemical laden foods, they actually will make you feel less confident and less attractive. And you know why? Because not only are we going to feel sluggish, we're going to put on weight and it affects our mood. It has been proven that what we eat affects our mood incredibly. So if we can start to eat more healthy foods, fresh foods, it doesn't have to be expensive, just cut out some of the processed foods that we reach for as a matter of convenience and start eating healthy unprocessed foods. A Mediterranean diet, for example. I was just in Spain and honestly, the women there, they look vibrant, they look passionate, they look healthy, they look attractive. And that's because their diet is healthy. It's produce that's in season. It's salads, it's olive oil. It's absolutely delicious and I am all for it. Think about adding healthy, nutritious foods just as a daily habit and it is going to affect how you feel about yourself. And when we feel good about ourselves, we look more attractive, we feel more confident. 
Let's talk about our clothes. When we wear clothes that we feel confident in, what do we look like? We literally strut around, we feel excited about life, we feel confident. We know that we look good, we look more attractive. And that's because we feel great about what we're wearing. When we opt for clothes that are hiding our bodies and our frames, we don't look attractive. In fact, we look like we are hiding ourselves. And I get it. Sometimes that's what we do. We want to hide from the world. We're trying to hide our body shape. But I promise you, if you embrace your body, if you love your body just a little bit more and start wearing things that fit your frame as opposed to swamp your frame, you will look and feel more attractive. You will look at yourself as you're walking past a window and you will like what you see. If you are just hunched over and you're hiding yourself in big baggy clothes, it gives the impression that you don't love yourself, that you are hiding from the world. I want you to love yourself enough to find yourself something that fits you well. Start with a really good fitting bra. I promise you, get yourself a great fitting bra and you will instantly turn up the attractive scale up to 10. You will feel more attractive, you'll feel more confident, and it will show on your clothes. Wearing clothes that don't fit you, that are completely loose and baggy and hiding your frame, do nothing for your confidence or your physical self. Just take my tip, I promise you, get something that fits you well, and you will wear it and wear it and wear it. Start with a really good fitting bra. My final tip is nothing about what you wear, it's about your posture and your smile. When it comes to looking more attractive, putting our shoulders back, standing up straight and smiling is huge. When you go about your day, people will smile back. It makes you feel good. And yet all of us have gotten used to being hunched over, angry face, we don't want to interact with anybody. And I truly believe that that's a case of social media where we have become so enclosed in our own worlds, we forget there's a huge world out there and most people are nice. Trust me, going about your day with a smile, choosing to smile as you walk into a shop or as you pass somebody, people won't look at you and think, oh, she's a bit weird. They're going to look at you and think, oh, look at her, she's really happy. She's really attractive. She's really confident. Put your shoulders back stand tall, your posture will go a long way into making you feel and look more attractive. And don't forget to add your beautiful smile, but remember your dental hygiene. <laughs> That's it ladies, those are my top tips to help you look more attractive instantly starting today. I do hope you enjoyed my video and if you did, perhaps you'll give it a thumbs up and share it with your girlfriends. And if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe, it's free. And I bring videos just like this every single week to help you look good and feel fabulous. Until the next time, bye for now.